Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here from the Knife Center, coming at you from SHOT Show 2020. We're here at the Kershaw and ZT booth with my friend Jim. He's gonna take us through the new 20, or at least a selection of the new 2020 products. Jim, what do we got here? All right. So we're gonna start off with our new ZT for this show. Um, that's the 0308. So this is something that our customers have been asking for for a long time. They've been saying, hey, you know, you've been focusing on a lot of these slim, smaller, more gentlemanly knives but your roots are in big, hard-use folders. And so we've been listening. Says it right on the box, overbuilt Absolutely. in the USA, right? Absolutely. And so the 308 is meant to be kind of a return to that form. So this is, again, kind of an extension of the 300 series, but it's a brand new design. It feels like a, like a reboot almost. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think that's okay. I think it's okay to have something and say, we had something great, we want to see if we can make it better with everything we've learned. Absolutely. So first off, instead of speed safe we have our kvt washer bearings in here with nice real smooth action we have a 20 cv blade a stone wash finish um, real high flat grinds so even though it's a nice beefy blade it'll slice really well um, we have a coyote tan g10 handle with a fully contoured 3d machine surface we have nice texture a lot better grip than those old flat sided ones but if you feel yeah. that it's really it's really not it's not going to tear up your pants yeah. it's just enough not to be super aggressive right yeah but definitely adds a little bit of grip. Feels good in the hand, that contour yep. is great. Yep, we've got some jimping for your thumb up here, a nice fine but sharp jimping. I like the place right there, kind yep. of a harpoon point, lets you bring your index finger up. And that is by design. That's yeah. there for a thumb That's or really index nice. finger to land. Um, so that same new texture extends onto the fully contoured 3D machine G10, I'm sorry, titanium on the back. Um, and with also, like our original O300 series, instead of a hollow pivot, we have a solid bolt. So this, this front is actually a bolt, and we have a, a nut on the back. And the cool thing about this, if I can get in my drawer, just like our original 300, this is adjustable with simple tools. Hmm. So you can use a half inch combo wrench like this, or you can use a crescent wrench. So if you're out in the field, you don't need to worry about having a T8 or a T6. That's you nice. can use really simple tools. Nice. Um, Again, we always have our, our titanium block scale with our hardened steel insert. Um, and one more cool thing for those who like to customize the knives a little bit, we have the standard three hole pattern that you see on Emerson's and different things. So steel flame clips will fit. I believe Starling gear clips will fit. So mm -hmm. if you want something with, with something more decorative or cool, you can immediately bolt it right onto this knife. Excellent. So. It is. I mean, this knife screams ZT to me. Like, it's, it, it really is kind of a, a return to your roots in a good way. Like, it's Absolutely. not, it's really nice. And what I like about this knife is that it's, it, sh it showcases kind of the breadth of our brand. So you can have something as, as lightweight and as sleek as the O230, which is our first non-locking knife. Mm -hmm. I mean, totally opposite end of the spectrum. Absolutely. Or you can have a hard use folder, something beefy just like this. And you can have that choice. And we do both. What I really like about this knife is you guys are ZT and somehow you managed to make a non-locker flickable. I like that a lot. <laughs> well, well, we're glad. We really, we really cared about that action a lot. We wanted to make sure that it was just right. Very cool. So MSRP on the 308 is going to be 375. MSRP on the 230, which you've seen before, is 225. Which of course MSRP prices are going to be lower on the Knife Center website. We'll make sure to leave links below to all of this stuff so you can see the up-to-date pricing. So next up, probably the most exciting release, in my opinion, for us this year is Return to the World of Butterfly Knives. Absolutely. So this is the 5150 Lucha. Um, the name actually, it, it either means fight in Spanish or we were thinking of luchadors, the, mm -hmm. the masked wrestlers. Yeah. And when you yeah. think about how much this is jumping around, and, I don't know, we just had a little fun with it. Yeah. I'm so. really excited by this. I know you guys are, are out there too. I flipped this a little bit before we got on camera. Not an expert flipper by any means, but it feels really smooth, especially when you factor the street price into this. This is gonna be the thing to beat in terms of budget ballast songs, bar none. We really tried hard with this one. We actually, we, we took prototypes. We took prototypes to some, uh, some different people who were very good at flipping very quietly and said, what are we doing? What can we do better? Mm -hmm. We actually went and completely revamped it out based on, on feedback, feedback that we got from, from flippers. And so we've made it a full size, full length. Um, we have our KVT washer bearings in here. Uh, we have steel handles. Um, 
We have a real nice, it doesn't look, you can't see it very well, but we have a nice contour in these, so it rolls mm -hmm. over nicely in your hand. We made sure the profile was fairly square, not rectangular, so it didn't flop. We really thought a lot about this. And I like, even though it's a steel handle, it's not super heavy either. It's not. It's, it's skeletonized out and it's thin enough where I know some, that was a concern of some of our, uh, our social media channels and through our videos that it might be too heavy. I didn't really get that when I was actually flipping it. And again, I'm not an expert by any means, but I've handled enough of them over the years that I can tell this is going to be a winner. Well, and the thing is, we really focused hard to get the balance right. Yeah. We can't control the fact, in this case, with a price point, we're going to use steel. So we really want to make sure that it balances correctly and that it feels good when it's moving. So we actually even played around with the whole pattern to make sure that it <coughs> balanced the way we wanted it to. So, and the blade is nice and in a usable shape too. If you're actually using, <coughs> if you're actually using your ballys to cut things, great steel, 14C28, absolutely, and a really great shape. Yeah. So, we have a few more little features. Again, a full width flat grind. Um, we have a latch that's actually got a little bit of shape to it, so it never gets caught in between your handles. It'll squirt right out. That little rounded shape helps with sure. that. And we have an MSRP of 189 on this, but the. The pricing on it has been very competitive, very aggressive actually, yeah. already. Yeah, the street price is definitely lower. Uh, I think right now we're at about 120 on this. Yeah. It's a really good deal. All, all made in the USA too. Yep, absolutely. Gotta love it. Next up we have a new addition to our, our line of Leaks. The Leak has always been one of our most popular knives. So this year we're offering it with full copper scales. Great decision. Copper is hot right now. Yeah, so this is a liner lock construction with speed safe. We have upgraded the blade to CPM 154 in this case. And yeah, full solid copper. I mean, they're, it's a nice brushed finish actually. Um, we've gone with that on this and it's, it's gonna patina beautifully. Yeah. Um, MSRP of $150 and really not a lot more to say on that one. It's, a, it's, a, it's the leak, it's a classic, and this version right here, great gentleman's knife. Yeah, absolutely. Now moving into a couple of imports here. We released the, uh, the, the, the small version of the Natrix with a copper handle and a D2 blade, and it did very well. So we've extended that to have a medium size and a, actually a full size, same as the original 777. So, and, so, and the medium is actually the size of the rest of the, the bulk of the Natrix line. Absolutely, yeah. correctly. So we, we have a 3.25 inch blade and a 3.75 inch blade. And then the, the original miniature version of this has a 2.75 inch blade. So we really run the, the range um, they are weight relieved, but they definitely have some heft, Absolutely. particularly this guy right yeah. here. So that's a love-hate thing I found with customers. Some people love it, some people hate it. So if you like something that's got a good heft and is going to have that nice patina, I'd go with the XL. If you want something a little easier to EDC, I'd go with the, mi the medium or the mini size. And I like the stonewash finish you guys did on this, on this one here. It may take a little bit longer to patina, but I think it's going to have even more character once it, it does. Love the way it looks. Um, been really happy with these and again they're all running on KVT ball bearing washers and they all have the upgraded D2 steel. So we have an MSRP of 125 and 150 on these. Very nice. One other thing I noticed real quick on the large one, both of them have the deep carry pocket clip but on the large you actually get it sticking up quite a bit so you'll be able to keep that massive knife hidden very easily. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So then next up we have a uh, a new collaboration with Dmitry Sinkevich, our friend from Belarus. Um, great designer, someone I have a lot of respect for, and he does some really nice stuff. So it's been great to do another project with him. This is the, the Tumbler. It's got a great, it's got, definitely has some Sinkevich lines there for sure. Absolutely, it definitely, you can see the style. Um, it carries nice and light. It is, and that's one nice thing. You know, we we're just on some heavy ones. This one is the opposite, very light. And you're able to do that with that sub frame lock. You're Absolutely. Able to get that frame lock rigidity with the, the synthetic material to keep the, light, the weight down. Very nice. So this has, we've, we've used it a few times before, but this has the G10 handles with the carbon fiber overlay, ultra deep carry clip. <laughs> is that reversible? Lock. It is, yes. Yeah, wraps around the back <coughs> of the spine there. Very, very deep for sure. I like the shape of that lock bar too. It's yeah, something it's a little really different. Cool. Yeah. I love the way it looks. And again, D2 blade steel here. Nice upswept uh, blade shape. It's gonna slice really nicely. I like that a lot. Yeah, and it has really nice action. Again, it's hard to see on camera with these, but this one flips just really fast. Yeah. So an MSRP of $110 on that one. So next up, we have uh, another one of our upgraded ones. I should mention, you know, we've kind of got three tiers in our import line as it speaks right now. We have our starter series, which are meant to be a little more of a value price knife. Mm -hmm. Then we have more of our standard lineup, which is 8CR13MOV and steel handles and 
some different features. There's, some people kind of poo-poo that steel. Solid entry-level steel. I, I will firmly stand behind that. Offers a good amount of performance for your money. Absolutely. And then if you want to upgrade a little more, we have a number of knives this year that are coming in with a D2 blade. So, and this is one more. This one is called the Payout. Um, really fun design. And you know, the interesting thing about this is if you look at that handle, it might not look too ergonomic, but feel that in your hand. It does push the pinky out just a little bit, but it's not it's not an obnoxious amount. No. And that kind of points the blade down a little bit as you're using it in the it's, process. It's much more comfortable than it would appear. I would it's agree. A, it's really, yeah. it's an interesting design, very unique. Uh, we have a full steel bolster, G10, G10 handle scale. We have cool anodized accents with that bronze, or really a coppery color actually. And that continues on the back with this cool anodized accent that actually is an over travel stop. Uh, single position deep carry pocket clip and a D2 blade with stone wash finish and all at MSRP of $110. So again, a little, little more money, but a really nice upgrade with the D2. Yeah. What I really like about this blade in particular is it's pretty thin. It's not a super thick blade stock and it's nice and a wide blade with a very high flat grind. This is gonna be, this is gonna slice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's gonna be a very, very good cutter. And it's not overly thick, so it'll carry nicely in spite of how big it is. So next up, we have, they have the NORAD. This is another one of those improved knives that has the D2 steel. Um, this, this is a fun one. We've got some carbon fiber inlays. Um, we have a nice broad flat ground blade with a deep fuller with the PVD gray finish in the fuller and then that satin on the flats. Um, the features continue on the back. We have a carbon fiber inlay. We have a deep carry reversible pocket clip. And this is also on KVT ball bearing washers. The other neat thing about this knife is that we've if you can see the shape of the way the lock bar cuts out, we've created a little island for your fingers to rest on. Keep, makes it a little easier to keep them off the lock bar. It's a good, yeah, that's nice. So we have a nice kind of small flipper, but it's, it's got nice texture. And then in the open position, the flipper is hidden. Keeps that nice and clean when it's open. Absolutely. So it almost feels like a non-flipper knife. And you can still use that fuller there. Yep. to do your thumb opening as well if you want to if you want to keep it a little more discreet you know in certain channels yeah it's a nice little knife good weight nice EDC a little more stylish yeah and this like one that. actually has nice weight relief pockets on the inside which is part of why it feels lighter than it should sure. for how big it is I like it very nice yeah. MSRP of 110 on that one so now moving back into some USA product for a bit um, we have two knives that may be a little familiar to you. We have the uh, 1776 Link and the 1812 Dividend. And so these are two of our USA made knives. They've generally been more of a value priced knife. And so in this case, we're going the opposite end of value where we're giving you a lot of value for a high end steel. Mm -hmm. So these have been upgraded with a new handle. We've got a note, these both have a similar OD green finish and a similar new kind of machining on them with this these new pockets and grooves. Adds a little bit of visual texture as well as a little bit of texture for your hands. Absolutely. And so then the Link has been upgraded with a stonewashed CPM 20 CV blade. And the Dividend has a new composite blade with a cool shark tooth pattern with CPM D2 and, and, and N690 for the spine. Um, I, I love that shark tooth pattern, the, especially with this coloration. It reminds me like some World War II planes. And that's, I'm so glad you said that oh, because man. that was the inspiration. I could, I could see anodized right there, the, or uh, laser etched the stars and bars right yep. there would look yep. fantastic. Yep. Or the little air, the little circle yeah. with the star and yeah. the wings. Yeah, would look great. Absolutely, yeah. it was meant to. We really thought about how can we make this look like the like the the warbirds with the angry teeth yeah. and the mouth in front of it. Yeah. And so that I, was I really pulled it was, off. It's really that was the cool. idea. This has become one of those, I mean, that's what I'm carrying today. It's become kind of a surprise favorite for me at this show. Um, but it's still, great, still speed safe assisted? Still speed safe assisted. Yep. Um, we have upgraded them to a deep carry pocket clip instead of the standard carry. And an MSRP of 129 for either one of these, which for that steel, once you get it down to street price, it's going to be really competitive. Yeah. I mean, the M390 versions of these have been the things to beat in terms of bar bargains for a super steel and these just kind of further that. I love the CPM D2, which if you're a little leery of D2, the CPM version kind of solves everything we don't like about D2, which is a good steel, but it does have its drawbacks when you start to get into the higher end things. So it's really cool to see that there. Yeah. We also have two new automatics this year. I'll show you both real quick because they're both in the same size range. Um, these both have a two and a half inch blade. So we have the Launch 11 and the Launch 12. 
So the Launch 11 is actually a smaller version of our popular Launch 8. It's matte disc in design um, with an Italian stiletto style and feel to it. We have the same carbon fiber inlay, um, but we've just made it shorter. We actually lovingly refer to this as the baby shark. It just has that kind of, has that little fin. And, don't start singing it at yeah, home. Let's not, let's not don't sing. Do it. Yeah. You don't want me to sing today. <laughs> but no, I mean, it's just a neat little knife. Um, this kind of falls into that similar category as our California legal knives, which we found have been very popular all over the place, not just in California. And so to, I love your Launch 9. That was one of my favorite things I saw here last year with yeah. that little blade. I think it's fantastic. And so we realized we can make them just a little bit bigger, make it a little bit more to fill your hand, but still in that nice, comfortable, non-threatening size. So these are not legal in California, but they're legal everywhere else. You can buy a switchblade. And we think these are gonna be a really nice size, kind of a, a bit of a Goldilocks size, if you will. I agree. So now the Launch 11, this is another really fun one because this is a departure. If you look at our range, a lot of them are more swoopy, they're, they're different, and this is really clean, really contemporary looking. We've got the, the holes going all the way through the handle. We have the titanium trim ring, which is really neat with the bronze anodizing. That little, that little accent the color is quite nice. Absolutely. Uh, black wash blade, and we have this new very slim kind of pen style clip, and it really is just a nice, classy overall package. We're really happy with the way this turned out. Well, I mean, the whole launch series has always been a great value, uh, especially when you consider the materials. I mean, CPM 154 yep. on all of these, Really great performer. I mean, yeah, I've, they've always been winners in my book. And that continues on both. So we have CPM 154 blades, and we have an MSRP of 150 and 160 for these knives. Very cool. So now we're going to shift back to one of our imported products. Um, this is something we don't do a lot of. We don't do a lot of fixed blades. And so we decided that we felt like we should have something that was more of a, uh, more of a utility knife in our camp series. Mm -hmm. We have the big camp 10. Um, we have some other items, we have, a, we have an axe that we've come out with this year, and so this is more of a good general use around the site knife that doesn't have a 10 inch long blade sure, on it. Sure, sure. Um, the thing I like about this is that I think sometimes, and you know, this is my opinion, people will make camp knives and they make them real thick, and we've gone and made this kind of just thick enough. Yeah. It's yeah. a nice thickness, it's not overly heavy, it's really good to carry. It's got nice jimping here, got a nice belly to the blade if you wanted to use it for some skinning. Um, we've upgraded to CPM D2, so you're going to have it hold a great edge. CPM D2? Or oh, I'm standard sorry, D2? Just standard D2. Thank you very much. Pardon that. Um, they have a really nicely contoured handle. It is an injection molded handle, but it's very comfortable and very grippy. Are the scales removable if someone were to they are, yeah. say want to do some custom scales yep. for it? Absolutely. To, the, to your point on the thickness, yeah, this is. It reminds me a little bit of some of the old school like butcher knives, yeah. uh, which at the end of the day, those are the knives that won the American West. They didn't have to be crazy thick and yeah. they worked really well. And we've got that high flat grind. I mean, I'm very critical of a fixed blade at camp and I like what I see here. Yeah. Really deep swedge, so you have kind of an octagonal profile when you're moving through materials. Yep. It's gonna be a very good cutter and it's thick enough. It's gonna yeah. stand up quite well, I think. Yep. Um, it also comes with this injection molded sheath that kind of fits in with our camp series. Um, it has dual retention, so you have kind of a soft but effective retention with just the little snap here. It has this little thing you press, and that helps it release. And then your secondary retention comes with the strap here, so you're, you're secure, particularly if you wanted to strap it to, to the shoulder of a backpack or something like that, you have that added security that you're not going to lose your knife. Sure. So, and we've got some mod, some hole patterns here. Now, would, would these be mod, uh, compatible with a tech lock, for example? Do you know? I don't. I don't believe okay. they were designed for that. No. Okay. So. But you can use that to, to lash it to a pack or anything like that. Absolutely. And you've got these wide strap pass-throughs, so there is a lot of versatility on this as well. Yeah. So, MSRP of ninety-five dollars on this one. And it does even have a drain hole here, right at the tip. Nice, solid design, sheath and knife both. Finally here, we have kind of a return to form. Um, we've done traditional knives in the past. Maybe you can help me with these a little bit. So we have, uh, we have a single blade Barlow, and then we have a two blade Trapper, and then we have a three blade Stockman. So these are all very nice little patterns. They're, they're, they're a regular style traditional. They've got, they've got the, steel, the steel lock springs. They've got brass liners. Nice polish to each of these knives. What's the handle material on these? So the neat thing about these is that we've, we've gone with a polished G10. Um, we're trying to give this traditional life just a little bit of a contemporary feel. 
So to make it a little different from what you see out there on the market, we've done a black G10 with a nice polish. Mm -hmm. And so these are also quite affordable. If I can hold the trapper here, the trapper is mm -hmm. 35, the Stockman is 40, and the Barlow is 40. And that's MSRP, so that's gonna come in a little bit lower than that. Absolutely. And what steel are we working with here? We're working with 7CR17. So good budget, you know, budget entry. I yeah. like the Barlow particularly. I think it's got a good snap. The, the walk and talk, there's no half stop on these, but they feel good. And that's gonna be a solid EDC. Got a long pull on both sides of the blade, so it's lefty and righty friendly. Yep. Absolutely. And I like on the Stockman too, the main blade is kind of a muskrat style of clip point blade as opposed to some of the, the fatter clip points you see out there. Yeah. It's pretty cool, very cool. Yeah. All right, that's all we've got to show you today, but that's not all the 2020 stuff from Kershaw. We're gonna leave links in the description below where you can see all of that. You can put in your orders over there at knifecenter.com. I'm David C. Anderson. Thanks for sticking around for our SHOT Show coverage. Jim, thank you so much thank you. for taking the time with us. Keep sticking around, guys.